Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have a little NYX haul to share with you guys today. They dropped some new eyeshadow palettes over on the Ulta Beauty website a few days ago. So I picked up three out of the four palettes. I also picked up a couple of the very popular hyped up fat oil lip glosses. I picked up this fairly new primer. It's called Freezy. It's like a primer moisturizer in one. And I didn't have a NYX bronzer, so I picked up a matte bronzer. It says it's a is this the radiant one? No, this is just a plain matte bronzer. So I'm going to do a full face get ready with me uh, trying out these new uh, NYX products as well as incorporating well-loved NYX products that are already in my stash. You guys know I love trying out good drugstore makeup and NYX is definitely one of my favorites and go-to brands at the drugstore. If it is your first time here on my channel, let me just say hello and welcome. Allow me to invite you to become part of our makeup family. Click on that subscribe button hit the bell next to it that way you can be notified every time I drop a new video and if you're a fan of get ready with me style of videos you just want to see what this new NYX makeup is all about be sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go so if you guys want to see this full face of NYX makeup keep on watching all right so let me remove my earrings so that I can apply all of this stuff a little bit easier. My earrings are from Kendra Scott, by the way, but they're they're oldies. Let's start first with the Freezy Primer. Now, this came out, I want to say this was released at least a month ago. That's what it looks like. And it says it's going to be uh, like a cooling, hydrating primer. It is infused with niacinamide and snow mushroom. And what else does it have? I think that's about it. Yeah. Okay, so let's try it out. I don't really smell anything, but it's going to be cooling. And I thought that this would be perfect. Oh, yeah, it is. This would be perfect for the summertime. Guys, my thoughts and prayers are with all of you on the East Coast right now. And even in Canada, where those wildfires are burning. I was watching the news a while ago, and there's like this cloud of orange smoke over new york city so oh my goodness guys stay indoors i have been trying to fight off the seasonal allergies and i leave next week for vacation i cannot get sick my mom unfortunately is really sick right now with like allergies flu-like symptoms so oh my goodness i i cannot afford to get sick this primer feels really good it feels cooling, not extremely cooling, but cooling enough for the South Texas heat. Now I'm gonna go in with the latest foundation from NYX, and this is their Bear With Me Blur Foundation. I have the shade Vanilla, which is a little too dark, but um, maybe this will become my, uh, my shade after my summer vacation. And I do have a full review over this foundation. It is in my, I'll have my NYX Cosmetics playlist linked in a pinned comment in case you wanna check it out. Uh, but FYI, I do really enjoy this foundation. I'm going to apply this using my BK Beauty 101 foundation brush. Now I think the foundation went on top of that freezy primer. Great. I'm liking the way everything looks. I'm going to go in with one of my favorite concealers from the drugstore and it is also from NYX. It is their Bear With Me Concealer Serum and the shade I have I believe is Fair. Yeah I have shade Fair in this one. And this is what the shade Fair looks like. I'm going to use my little BK Beauty A506 to pat that under the eyes and we'll use it to kind of just brighten up the t-zone a little bit. I also have the shade Light which is a little bit closer to my skin tone but I wanted to use this so that way it'd be a little bit more brightening. Now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite setting sprays at the drugstore, the NYX Matte Setting Spray. I'm going to do this right now because I'm done with all of my cream products and that's how I've been doing my foundation routine lately. I've been applying all the cream products, then I do my setting spray, and then I go in with powder products kind of pressing over the entire face, make sure there are no water droplets, but that NYX setting spray, they also have a dewy version, which I do enjoy. 
This one is a really nice fine mister. I, I don't ever have issues with it and it does help my makeup last all day. Now I don't have a NYX setting powder so I'm going to go in with an old favorite Cody Airspun. Now I'm gonna go in with this new matte bronzer that I picked up and this is the shade Light. And I'm using my BK Beauty 111. This shade looks like it has a little bit of red in it, which I don't, I don't mind the red. I think, I, I feel like I have a pretty neutral skin tone. I'll let you tell me. Tell me in the comments, what kind of skin tone do you think I have? Because I've always like, leaned on the side of neutral to warm undertones when it comes to um, skin tones and stuff and I'm usually like a fair or even fair to light once the summer gets started but like my undertone that's what I meant to say my undertone I usually just go more for neutral but I know a couple of you have told me Steph do you think you're an olive undertone I honestly don't know so I'll let you guys <laughs> sound off on that in the comments I've been keeping my bronzer just to my forehead and to my nose and I've been really playing up the blush this year. This is my new for 2023 routine and I've been really enjoying it. So I'm going to get a smaller brush for my nose. This is just a brush that I have from BH Cosmetics and I use my bronzer kind of like as a little nose contour. I usually don't use like cool tone shades. I go more for warmth. So that's why I kind of just treat this as a contour. And I think it just gives a nice bit of warmth to the complexion. Okay, so this is a really pretty matte bronzer. I like the finish. I like the shade. I think it's very complimentary. Now, I haven't picked up any new uh, blushes from NYX. Well, I did last year. They were some cream blushes. It was like a dual-sided uh, cream blush stick. But these are the only two powder blushes that I have, and they're both matte. These are the Sweet Cheeks Matte Blushes. This one I have is in the shade Summer Breeze. And then this yellow one, this one is in the shade Silence is Golden. And I got them both from Ulta Beauty. So I've done this color combination before on my channel, but it's been a while. So I'm going to show you how I incorporate yellow blush into my blush routine, which I don't always do. But, you know, every now and then it's nice to change things up. I'm going to take my Beach Cosmetics brush and I'm going to go into this shade first. And I'm going to focus this a little bit lower not as high up on the cheekbone, but I'm keeping it outwards. And then I'm going to lightly blend upwards. Now these come in many different shades. They also come in a glowy formula. I don't have any of the glowy ones. I only have these two matte ones, but I wouldn't mind adding a couple new shades to my NYX collection. Now with the same brush, I'm going to go into the yellow shade. And I'm going to place this higher up on the cheekbone and bring it in towards my temple. And you can dip back in, go back and forth with each shade. But this is a combination I've really been enjoying. I've had these for like two years at least. And you can see the nice glow it gives the cheekbones it kind of acts as a highlighter the yellow blush i'm just adding a little bit more of this other shade to just make sure everything is blended in we are going in with a traditional highlighter but i think this is so fun especially for the summertime so now i'm going to go in with a highlighter i don't know if it's still available if it is available i think it's only on the nyx website and this is their high glass highlighter it's kind of like a putty type of a highlighter i'm using my rare beauty highlighter brush just focusing that kind of like where i placed the yellow a little bit up here now I'm just going to take my blush brush and just lightly blend over that. Oof, I love it. Okay, guys, so complexion is done. 
that was pretty quick, pretty simple. And I'm liking the way everything is looking. So I'm going to pop off camera. I'm going to use my NYX brow products and I'm going to come back and I'm going to be creating three different looks, one with each of the eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so brows are on, and these are the two go-to brow products that I use on pretty much a daily basis. If it's not from NYX, I use these two exact same ones that Milani has, but I don't spend too much on brow products. I do like the Urban Decay Brow Blade, though, and uh, IT Cosmetics does have a good brow pencil, but... Usually my brows are done with drugstore products and NYX is one of my go-tos when it comes to brows. And I did apply one of the shades in the new fat oil. Uh, this is a nice gloss. This is a thicker gloss. I think this is supposed to be a dupe for the Dior glosses. They're like 40 bucks or something like that. I want to say these fat oil glosses are like 10 $12, something like that. The shade that I have on is called Scrolling. So I did find a regular NYX eyeshadow primer. This is the Proof It Waterproof eyeshadow primer. So that's what I have going on on my lids. I have, let me show you guys. These are the three palettes that I picked up. So I'm going to do a look with each palette. I'm going to play some music while I create a look with each one, though. This one right here is called I Know That's Bright. So this obviously is going to be the rainbow palette. Look at how cute these are. These are 16 pan palettes and they're like miniature size. I love it. This one, I think a lot of you will like for year round. This one is called Paradise Shock. That's a nice color story. And then the last one I picked up is called Vintage Jean Baby. All you cool tone blue lovers out there, I love the combination of blue and brown together. I think it is such a beautiful color combination. So I think I'm actually going to start with this palette first. Let me go ahead, play some music. I'll come back after each look, let you know what I went in with, and then uh, we'll move on from there. Here is a completed look with this vintage jean baby palette. I love this one. These shadows, and I used a few of them. I managed to use quite a few of them. So far, so good. I do recommend using the NYX Glitter Primer, and I should have pulled that out, but I have it down here because you will get a little bit of fallout from the shimmer shadows only, but I didn't notice like any fallout from the mattes. I thought that the mattes all blended together really well. This so far turned out to be a really nice palette. I've, again, I've only used it once to create, you know, this one look, but I can tell this is a nice formula from NYX. Uh, let me tell you some of the items that I'm going to be using. So this is the mascara I'll be using throughout the video. It is the NYX On The Rise mascara. I'm going to be using more than likely uh, what, what I use for the top lash line, which is my go-to Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Eyeliner. And for the lower waterline, I use this one from NYX. It's from that La, La Casa de Papel collection. It's the shade Blue Teddy. I don't know if you can still find these available. They came out last year. It was one of those limited edition collections and I think that's about it. So I am giving this vintage jean baby palette two thumbs up. Great first impression. Let's move over to the left eye and I think I am going to do a look with the I Know That's Bright palette. <music> Thank you. 
Okay, so this look with the I Know That's Bright palette, I love it. This is like my summer beach vacation all day long. These shadows, so far these palettes are two for two. I haven't encountered any issues aside with a little bit of fallout here and there, but I mean, the mattes are blending and that's the main thing you want. You want good mattes in a palette. So I use the same Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner. On the lower lash line, the lower waterline I should say, I went in with two different NYX Epic Wear liners that I know for sure are in stock. And they are these two right here. This is Cosmic Yellow and Intense Teal. And that's what I have going on, same mascara. I love both of these looks. So much fun. I'm going to take some pictures. I guess I'll remove this one since I created this one first. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to create a look with the third palette, which is Paradise Shock. look with Paradise Shock. Guys, the worst thing about this palette or these palettes, the three of them, is just a little bit of fallout that you're going to get. Everything else, these are aces. These are so good. These are so, so good. Um, let me tell you what I use. So same mascara, same eyeliner for the lower waterline, another NYX. I tried to use as many NYX products as I can in this video, but another Epic Wear eyeliner. This one is in the shade Orange Zest, and this I know is in stock as well. The only one that's going to be out of stock was the first one I used, this light blue one. But I had such a fabulous time with these three eyeshadow palettes with just the full face of makeup. And I did change into the second fat oil that I picked up. This one is in the shade uh, Newsfeed. I will say that these feel very similar to the Maybelline uh, Lifter Glosses, but I think I like that formula better than this one. But it's still a nice formula, very juicy lip gloss. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video and I'll share with you guys my final thoughts. All right, guys, so after creating a look with each of these new Ultimate palettes, these are all three, and there's still one more. There's one I didn't pick up just because it was a little too neutral for me, but these three are definitely getting two thumbs up. I loved them. Super affordable. I forget the exact price. I'll put it right here, but I don't think these are over 15 bucks. And I got them on Ulta, so you guys can use your Ulta points, Ulta coupons, and you know they're often running sales, like buy two, get one free with NYX products. I would definitely put these on your must-try list, especially if you're on a budget right now, and who isn't? But if you just want like a new eyeshadow palette, you don't want to spend over 20 bucks, these are definitely worth checking out. I do like the fat oil, but like I just said, I kind of think I prefer the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline a little bit better. I feel like the pigmentation is also really light. Sometimes on the Lifter Glosses, it can be light as well, but I feel like I get a little more pigment out of that, those than I do with these. But it's still a nice formula. I will continue to use it, and I like that it's kind of like a mini size. The bronzer, this is not new. It's just new to me. This is the matte bronzer in the shade Light. I think it's very pretty, and if you want a bronzer that has a little bit of a red tone to it, then this is definitely going to be something you're going to want to check out. Everything else that I used was stuff that I already had in my stash. Again, the main purpose of this video was to try out these palettes, and I think they are aces. Definitely worth checking out. I stand by the rest of the NYX products that I use. These have been in my stash for quite some time. NYX is one of my favorite brands at the drugstore, and I definitely recommend checking out anything that I tried in the video. And last but not least, I couldn't forget this. This is a Freezy Primer, their new primer slash moisturizer. I have normal to oily skin. I'm 41 years old, in case it is your first time watching one of my videos, and I think this looks pretty good. The makeup went on top of it just fine. 
I might be taking this with me on vacation. This is definitely something we're checking out, especially right now for the summer, since it does provide that cooling effect. Let me know what you thought about this video. Are you going to be checking out any of these Ultimate palettes? I highly recommend that you do. Have you already tried the fat oil? Have you already tried Freezy? Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know which palette was your favorite. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Cheers. And I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.